Hi everyone. So in this video, we will learn how you can show a notification using notification API in JavaScript. So let's get started. So if you Google about notification API, you will get this talks, which is available on developer.mozilla.org. And one thing which is noticeable here is this thing. This feature is available only in secure context. So basically it means that if your website is using HTTPS protocol, you can use this API. But if it is HTTP, then definitely it will not work. And here we have a couple of properties which you can use with this API. So let's get started and work on the HTML file. So basically I want to display a notification on the click of a button. So let's have a basic HTML structure here. And we need one div element. We're going to use a style here. Let's make it margin top 20 pixels. Also text align will be center to center line the button. Let's create a button here. It will be show notification. Okay. Let's use style attribute and add some padding here. Let's make it 10 pixel and 5 pixel. Now let's open this file in the browser. I'm using extension live server. So when I will click on this, I'll get this page. Now let's work on the script file. Let's add event listener to the button. And it is very obvious. The event will be click. Here we are selecting the button. And here we will add the event listener. Okay. And the easy function which I want to execute. There are three possible values for this permission property. Those are denied, granted, and default. So whenever you visit some website, it will always be default. Then you will get an alert. It will ask for the permission. Based on that, you can deny it or grant it. So let's console log it first. So it will be console log notification dot permission save it go to browser open the console window now when you will click on the show notification you will get the permission value here click okay so it's not working okay so we need to include this uh, script file here save it reload click so it is default now if i want to ask for the permission there is a method let me show it to you yeah this one okay get rid of this so it will be notification dot request permission okay it will return a promise so basically it is Denable. Now here we will get the permission value. I will simply console log it. Save it. Show notification. So we are getting this alert. When I will click allow, it is granted. Let's reset it. We'll set it to default. Reload show notification this time will deny and we are getting denied some of the old browsers do not support this api so we need to add a check here it will be if window dot notification is false i just simply want to return now let's create a function here it will be show notification and we we'll take the value of permission now instead of doing all this I'll simply pass this function here. I will check for the value of permission. So if it is not equal to granted, I want to return. So basically I don't want to execute this function. There's no point of doing so. Now we'll create the instance of notification. So it will be the notification. The first parameter will be title. So let's make it title. It will be a string. Then we need to pass one object. 
we are going to have a body here then we are going to have a icon okay so let's do this so body i will make hi how are you today for icon i already have an image here so it will be equal to icon dot png that's it now just save it go to browser let's reset it make it allow okay reload close this thing now let's click show notification and that's a notification if you want to open some website on click of notification then there is an event on click that you can use like this so it will be window dot open and you can pass here google.com save it go to browser show notification click and that's a website in case you want to open the website in the same tab then you can make it window.location.href google.com save it go to browser notification is here click and that's a website i hope you got the point how it actually works see you in the next video have a nice day